Well, just a few minutes ago, we visited with Jason Lewis, the Republican candidate in Minnesota's 2nd Congressional District. The Democratic candidate is political newcomer Angie Craig. She is a former senior vice president of human resources at the medical device company St. Jude Medical. She moved to Minnesota a decade ago when she was recruited by St. Jude. She is the first openly gay candidate to run for Congress in Minnesota as the nominee of a major party. She and her wife have four teenage sons, and we want to welcome Angie Craig. Thank you so much for coming on. It's a pleasure to be here. Let me ask you, you moved here 10 years ago. You grew up, you were born in Arkansas. You, you spent a lot of time in Memphis, worked there professionally. Uh, it's a very different part of the country, a lovely part of the country, but what makes you feel you're qualified having only lived here 10 years to be the representative of Minnesota's 2nd Congressional District? Sure, well, thank you so much for having me. Look, I grew up uh, absolutely in Arkansas. I um, grew up in a single family household. My mom, she took 10 years, raised three kids by herself. Uh, I've been on the executive team at St. Jude Medical here for the last 10 years. And the truth is Minnesota has been uh, extremely warm and open and accepting of uh, me and my family. And I just believe that I have the right policy views and plans to represent the second congressional district. All right, uh, your professional career for the past uh almost two decades has been in the medical profession, medical device profession. A lot of people look at, at uh, corporations that are involved in sure. the medical industry as, as some of, what, of the villains here, yeah. uh, that they have made an enormous amount of money for executives such as yourself. Uh, your opponent uh, wants to repeal Obamacare. What are your thoughts about the role of corporations such as St. Jude Medical that you worked for for a decade in, in contributing to the problems we have, especially the cost overruns in healthcare? Well, let me just say that St. Jude started as a one-person shop trying to make a mechanical heart valve here in Minnesota. It's a great Minnesota success story. And so my view of the world is really that we need to create many more Minnesota success stories, that those small businesses and startup companies are the lifeblood of this country. And as we look at my experience in a Fortune 500 as well, um, certainly I believe that uh, you know creating jobs is a major priority, and I think we we need to tackle the cost of health care in this nation. Small businesses are having a very tough time competing with the cost of health care. Access through the Affordable Care Act was made stronger, but the affordable part of it has not yet happened. And so as a member, I have a unique understanding of health care policy uh, that I think will enable me to look at both sides of these issues. All right, let's talk about the affordable or lack of affordability in health care, because even supporters of Obamacare are outraged by the costs overruns. The out-of-pocket costs that consumers are paying have never been higher. What would you do about that? And isn't Obamacare to blame? Well, look, I think one of the fastest things we can do has nothing to do with the Affordable Care Act. Medicare is the absolute largest purchaser of health care in the country. And so the idea that uh, pharma lobbyists have shut out negotiation uh, in Medicare and prescription drug prices have uh, only continued to rise. Specialty drugs. I ran the St. Jude Medical private health care plan when I was uh, at St. Jude Medical on that leadership team. And I absolutely think that the cost of health care has to come down over time. The problem with all of this, all of this, Esme, is, look, I'm looking for common ground solutions. I'm looking to listen to both sides. There's a very big difference between myself and Jason Lewis, who you just had on a few minutes ago. Um, I'm looking for common ground solutions to make sure that more Minnesota families can afford health care. All right. A lot of people don't know you, don't know who you are, and, and they say this image of your, your wife and your four sons. And for some people in the 2nd Congressional District, which is still a majority conservative uh, Republican district, I think, by most accounts, although it did vote for President Obama in 2012, well, look at that picture. And there, I'm sure there's some people who are kind of wondering, I'm not sure what I think. Yeah. And I, just to be honest, yeah. what are your thoughts? What would you say to somebody who, who looks at you and, and, and questions? That. Well, remember this district went for Senator Amy Klobuchar, it went for Al Franken, and it went for President Obama twice. As I've traveled the district, certainly I want people to know that I'm incredibly proud of my wife and our four sons, but 
I think what resonates with people is how hard I'm going to work on behalf of Minnesota families, working to create meaningful, good paying jobs, making sure that public education and affordable college are priorities, making sure that Social Security and Medicare are protected for generations to come, caring for our veterans, the work I've done at St. Jude. So I think when people look at my values, my experience, they're going to see that our families aren't that different. All right. Well, Angie Craig, thank you so much. A uh, pleasure to meet you. And obviously, we're all going to be following this race. It's going to be uh, obviously an exciting one. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you.